I think it's all here. But this is everything I had ordered for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all those crazy sales in between. Um, so yeah, I got a lot. It's a little bit of everything. So the first item was 100% a need, I promise. Like I definitely needed this one. It's an external hard drive. Uh, this one was from Western Digital. I did pick this up at Best Buy. They had a pretty sweet deal on it. Um, the capacity is two terabytes. What I love about this is that it's very easy to set up and it also small. So it's pretty portable, which is ideal if you travel a lot. Next up, we have a lighting system from Leo Para. I don't know if that's the actual pronunciation, but I'm gonna try to sound confident. And I'm so sorry if I butcher that. First off, I was actually super surprised, but pleasantly surprised that it came with a handwritten note from Rachel. I'm always gonna love like that personal touch, no matter what it is, I, like I love that. The fact that it was handwritten, you can even tell they botched my name, but that's okay, not even offended. This is awesome if you do YouTube, if you are a social influencer, it works perfectly for what I do because I dabble in photography, so this just gives me that extra option when I'm traveling. So once this is open, up top you have a little compartment for your USB cord to charge these guys with, and then you have your four light sticks. Now if we pop one out, this guy has a little adhesive strip once you remove uh, this plastic and it just sticks to your mirror, which is great because then you can position them however you want, how high, how low, it's great. And then if we turn this guy on, boom, look at that high level of light, that's awesome. So again, pretty excited to use these when I travel or even at home. Next product came from Ricky Ricky, or is it just one Ricky? I'm not sure. So this is a lighting system that's built into a mirror, which is fun. You can actually attach your phone to it. There's a bunch of different cool things that you can do. The box that it comes in has a magnetic closure and um, just opens like so. This is what the mirror looks like. It's called the Ricky Skinny, I believe. You have a bunch of buttons up here to pair with your phone, Bluetooth device, shows you your battery situation. If you turn it on, that's what that looks like. Ooh. Um, and you can brighten it or dim it with these two buttons. As far as attachments, you have this where you can stick your phone in. It'll adjust to pretty much any size phone and it's magnetic so that isn't going anywhere. Next up, you have the stand that you can stick your mirror on. It adjusts. And what's nice is that they actually have silicone grips so that it will keep it in place. So if we flip it over, you'll see that it's also magnetic and sticks right to the main mirror. Um, this is your magnification mirror, so if you need that for anything, uh, it's kind of a nice tool to have. And then lastly, you get your charger, the USB cord, and a, a wall plug-in to charge up your mirror. The next set of products are from Jason Mark, who literally just specializes in shoe care and maintenance. This is the very first time I'm trying any of his stuff, but I've heard really good things. The first item that I heard about and that I knew I, I wanted to try was these uh, cedar shoe inserts. So this is supposed to remove any moisture in your shoe and then also take any odors out of your shoe, which I think if you have sneakers is, is like a must have. So. I'm hoping that these work. I'm really excited because it's it's cedar, so it's natural. Next, we have the foam cleanser, which um, I like that it foams. That's really nice. I've had other shoe cleaners in the past that were supposed to foam up once you kind of use the brush. I like how this is already foam, so there's not a lot of mess in theory. So I'm excited to try this one out. Uh, we have a microfiber towel that I picked up, and this is supposed to kind of pick up any excess water when you wash your shoes or you, you know, spot clean them. Uh, it's a microfiber material, so you're not going to scratch up your shoes if they're leather. In theory, it's just supposed to be nice and gentle, but also effective in cleaning. Last item I bought were these uh, Jason Mark Level Up insoles. Um, sometimes I want like a little extra cushion if I know I'm going to be walking a long, long period of time or being on my feet. So it's nice to have that. I've never used insoles before, so this is kind of like a new experience all the way around. I know that you can trim these guys up top to fully fit your shoes. Next, we got a package from Aviator Nation. Here's the shirt. Absolutely love the design. I like a pop of neon. 
Um, for someone who likes to wear neutral colors a lot, it's so weird, but yeah, I like a hint. There's just like a little pop of neon going on. Love that they have this bolt. And then on the back, it does say Rad Energy. So it was all about that. A couple things to note if you are gonna order from Aviator Nation is that it's unisex sizing. So I normally wear a men's medium, so I went up in size to a large. Next up, we have a box from Mr. Porter. First off, I got underwear from Derek Rose. He's probably one of my favorite underwear designers. His stuff is so comfortable, it's unreal. In addition to that, they have great little designs. Like the waistband has little anchors on it. I was all about that life. So I ended up getting this guy. Next, I got a wallet from Balenciaga. Comes in this little fun dust bag. You got your paperwork, cards, all that fun stuff. There's the wallet. I am such a fan of this because it's super compact. I like a wallet that zips up because I am that person that loses things, things fall out. Uh, that way I know if I have change or keys or whatever, it's going to stay in here. Uh, so that's handy. If you flip this over, it does have some card slots, which is nice if you need to reach in for something. Just, you know what I mean? You know, you're on the Metro and you need your Metro card real quick. Boom. Easy access. You're not having to fumble through things. So that's uh, really... Uh, a clever feature to have. Then if we look on the inside, there's Balenciaga embossed in silver on top. It's a completely leather interior, uh, which is super luxurious. There's two compartments. It does fit a key fob in here, which is essential for me because it's my one and done. I need everything to be in here that I need for the day. So next I have a t-shirt from one of my new favorite brands. It's called Remy Relief. I believe it is Japanese. Um, I love their stuff. It's all cotton. The cuts are great. The only thing I would caution you with this brand is that everything runs significantly small. Moving right along, the next box comes from the House of Balma. This t-shirt was not on sale. However, it was part of the Balma and Puma collaboration. Um, I wasn't really that quick on it. I didn't. I mean, I knew the day that it was launching. I saw it on social media. But um, when I went on, pretty much everything was sold out. So this was probably the easiest t-shirt to get because I got it. All the other colorways in my size sold out. Next, we got a bag from Abercrombie & Fit. First couple items I got from Abercrombie were their boxers. Now these are a classic item that I usually pick up from them just because they're one of the few companies out there that has boxers that has a bit of stretch to them. And then I got this shirt. It's an Oxford button down, a nod to the inner prep in me. Has this cool little embroidery. <clears throat> Has a bit of stretch to it as well. It's just really comfortable. I did try it on. I got in a size medium and I think it's perfect. Um, I like that it's actually in this like olive green color. I normally would have gotten it in a blue. Uh, they had it, but it was sold out in my size. And I think the next, the only size available is like an XXL. And I was like, that's excessive. So I ended up doing this and I'm really glad I did because I think it suits me well. I did get this Gucci t-shirt from Essence, which is a Canadian boutique. They sell a real, I like their buyer. I think they have a really good collection of designer goods. Sometimes like some, some things that you really wouldn't find anywhere else. So I like that. Um, I did get this on sale. Uh, they, it was just some random promo. I think it was like a pre Black Friday thing, like a couple of weeks before. Yeah, picking up this shirt and another. This one, I like, I like the logo. I think that's, again, that's what attracted me to it. It's a thicker t-shirt, uh, but good for kind of like the colder months. And the size, I got a size small in this and it fits great. I think their their shirts kind of run a little bit bigger. Like I said, I usually go for a medium, but this was kind of spot on. This is the second shirt that I got. And this is a pretty iconic Gucci t-shirt. Most people who know Gucci know this shirt. Um, I finally caved. I wasn't initially going to get it because I felt like there were so many people that had it. But it's very easy to style. It's very lightweight. Um... It's 100% cotton and it's almost sheer. That's how fine it is, um, which makes this such a good shirt for if you're on holiday, somewhere warm, somewhere humid. It's just gonna just be really comfortable. All right, so this jacket is from ASOS and it's from a brand called Pull and Bear. If you're from Europe, you're very familiar with this brand. Um, I have wanted this style jacket for a while. I haven't found anything that I really liked in terms of fit or material. Uh, I took a chance on this because obviously it's online and I couldn't try it on, but I am so happy I took the plunge. I love it. Um, to start off with, these sleeves. So it's supposed to look like a hoodie underneath a denim vest. Um, it's actually neoprene. 
So really comfortable. I'm really happy about that because there was nowhere that I read that even said that. Um, so I wouldn't have known beforehand. Another cool feature that I like about this is that this hood actually detaches. So if I'm like, I don't want to do a hood today, boom, options. Love that. Um, but overall, it's just like a classic good look. Like I said, I like things that are easy to style, kind of grab and go. And this definitely fits that bill. So this jacket is from the Coupoles. I've wanted this jacket for a very long time, but it's such a high price point. And the fact that I couldn't try it on, those are two things that I'm like, oh, you know, it's just, I do I want to take the risk? Do I not? But I'm so glad I did when it got when I went on sale. And then I went on super sale because of their Black Friday deal. So I was like, all right, it's now or never. There are free returns. So if anything goes wrong, it's okay. I can return it. But I'm glad I took the plunge. Uh, this is awesome. It's so classic, but again, so different than what you would see in mainstream stores. This isn't like the typical military style jacket that most stores would pick up, but I just think there's something very classic and very cool about incorporating a piece like this into like a modern day wardrobe. I'm definitely a fan. Next item I got was a pair of Saint Laurent shoes from batchesfashion.com. So you get dust bags, a card of authenticity, and then extra laces. And these are the Bedford Low Tops in a neon suede. And I think after watching this video, you know I like I like a pop of neon now and again. Next, I ordered some bracelets and a couple of rings from Pura Vida. What's really nice about buying from this brand is that you get the opportunity to support local artisans as well as maybe specific causes, um, which I always find to be like a good combo. Their bracelets, anklets all come like this. They come in a canvas pouch. So I got a couple bracelets. I got an all black option, then I got this guy with uh, a metal bar with turquoise enamel. Thought that was cool. Uh, and then this has, and this one has metal embellishments. Then I got their signature ring, which has a wave on it. And then I got that same ring. Maybe you can see the wave a little bit better in turquoise. I thought it was just fun, just different. So I ended up getting underwear from Calvin Klein. This is my favorite option that they have. It's a boxer trunk, but it's made out of cotton and stretch, and that's it. Um, really comfortable, and I think pretty flattering. Um, and they were so cheap. I think, like, the, anything in color was like $7, $7.50, something crazy like that. And they originally retailed for 30 bucks. The black ones were probably the most expensive, and I just think it's because it's such a popular color. And those came in at around like $18 or $19. So, again, really solid deal. And lastly, I ended up picking up this guy, which is a seasonal option, um, has this buffalo plaid, which I love. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope to see you in my next and for more style and for more lifestyle inspiration. Definitely check me out on Instagram at I am Robert Dimitri. I'll see you next time. Peace.